the boundary between Earth's surface and outer space is not precisely defined. However, there are two commonly recognized boundaries that mark the transition from Earth's atmosphere to space, the Kármán Line and the Fédération Aéronautique Internationale, FI, Line. Kármán Line The Kármán Line is an imaginary boundary located approximately 100 kilometers, 62 miles, above sea level. It is named after the Hungarian-American aerospace engineer Theodor von Kármán. The Kármán line is often used as a standard definition of the beginning of outer space and is recognized by the Fédération Aéronautique Internationale, FI, and the International Astronautical Federation, IAF. FI line. The Fédération Aéronautique Internationale, FI, line is another commonly accepted boundary between Earth's atmosphere and outer space. It is set at 100 kilometers, 62 miles, above sea level, which is equivalent to the Kármán line. The FI line is recognized by the FI, an international governing body for aeronautical and astronautical records. It's important to note that there is no physical or sudden barrier at these boundaries. Rather, they are defined based on practical and scientific considerations. Beyond these boundaries, objects experience the conditions of space, including the absence of atmospheric drag and the ability to orbit the Earth. However, it's worth mentioning that different countries and organizations may have slightly different definitions or criteria for determining the boundary between Earth's atmosphere and outer space. Additionally, the concept of space extends far beyond these boundaries, encompassing the vast expanse of the universe beyond our planet. The boundaries between Earth's various layers and its transition to space are well understood by scientists. However, there are a few intriguing aspects worth mentioning. Earth's inner core. The exact nature and composition of Earth's inner core, located approximately 5,150 kilometers, 3,200 miles, beneath the surface, remains somewhat mysterious. It is believed to be solid primarily composed of iron and nickel, but due to its inaccessibility, studying it directly is challenging. The Mohorovicic discontinuity, MOHO. The MOHO is the boundary between Earth's crust and the underlying mantle. Its exact depth and composition can vary in different regions of the world, and its structure and properties are still being studied. Earth's magnetic field reversals, Earth's magnetic field has experienced numerous reversals throughout its history, where the magnetic north and south poles switch places. The cause and precise mechanism of these reversals remain an active area of research, and scientists are working to understand the patterns and frequency of these events. Transition to space. While the Kármán line and the Phi line are widely accepted as the boundaries between Earth's atmosphere and outer space, there is ongoing debate about the precise altitude at which this transition occurs. Different countries and organizations may have slightly different definitions, and discussions continue regarding whether the boundary should be based on altitude or other factors. Earth's atmosphere extent. Determining the precise upper limit of Earth's atmosphere is challenging due to the gradual decrease in density with increasing altitude. The atmosphere gradually thins out into the exosphere, where molecules become extremely sparse, and the distinction between the atmosphere and the vacuum of space becomes blurred. It's important to note that these aspects are not necessarily mysterious or unsolved in the sense of being unknown, but rather areas where ongoing research and exploration are deepening our understanding. Scientists continually strive to gather more data and refine our knowledge of Earth's boundaries and its intricate layers. The deepest point on Earth, the Mariana Trench in the Western Pacific Ocean is the deepest known point on Earth, reaching a depth of approximately 10,928 meters, 35,856 feet. It is deeper than Mount Everest is tall. The tallest mountain on Earth, Mount Everest, located in the Himalayas, is often considered the tallest mountain on Earth, with its summit reaching an elevation of 8,848 meters, 29,029 feet, above sea level. Earth's crust thickness. The thickness of Earth's crust varies significantly across different regions. 
The continental crust, found beneath the continents, can range from 30 to 50 kilometers, 18 to 31 miles, in thickness, while the oceanic crust, found beneath the ocean basins, is generally thinner, ranging from 5 to 10 kilometers, 3 to 6 miles. Earth's atmosphere. Earth's atmosphere extends to an altitude of approximately 10,000 kilometers, 6,200 miles, from the surface. However, the majority of its mass is concentrated within the first 11 kilometers, 7 miles, above sea level. Earth's magnetosphere. Earth has a magnetosphere, which is an invisible region surrounding the planet that is influenced by its magnetic field. This protective shield extends several tens of thousands of kilometers into space and helps deflect harmful solar radiation and charged particles. Earth's gravity. The force of gravity is not uniform across Earth's surface. Due to variations in the distribution of mass, different locations experience slightly different gravitational forces. Factors such as altitude, latitude, and local geology can contribute to these variations. Earth's atmospheric layers. Earth's atmosphere is divided into distinct layers. The troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, thermosphere, and exosphere. Each layer has its unique characteristics, such as temperature, composition, and interactions with solar radiation. Earth's continental drift. Over millions of years, Earth's continents have undergone significant movement. The theory of plate tectonics explains how Earth's lithosphere is divided into several large and small plates that constantly move, causing the continents to drift and collide. Earth's biomes. Earth is home to a diverse range of ecosystems and biomes, including forests, grasslands, deserts, tundras, and marine environments. These biomes are shaped by factors such as climate, topography, and geological processes. Earth's water distribution. The majority of Earth's water, about 97.5%, is found in the oceans. Only a small fraction, approximately 2.5%, exists as freshwater in the form of glaciers, lakes, rivers, and underground aquifers. These points offer a glimpse into the fascinating aspects of Earth's boundaries, geological features, and atmospheric properties, highlighting the incredible diversity and complexity of our planet.